This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. We start with a dangerous incident on the west side. Fire crews tell us a Duke Energy employee was shocked in a lift bucket along Steiner Avenue. That's Sedamsville. We don't know much about his condition except he is alive, though seriously hurt. We will update you and update the story as soon as we can. We do have an update to a burning home in Boone County. The coroner now confirms a 16 year old boy died in the fire early this morning. Two people were pulled from the basement of that burning home on Mayor Road. They're still in the hospital. Their condition's not known at this hour. The cause of that fire is still under investigation. Cincinnati city leaders are spelling out changes to CPD's pursuit policy in the wake of several crashes. The changes include pursuits now only taking place if a person who's fleeing is suspected of committing a violent felony. CPD will also have annual reviews by the planning and inspection section to make sure officers are following proper procedures. Such a nice change to the weather Raven, keeping it warm and dry. Yes, indeed. Warm and dry, at least for the next two days for us. Highs for today will be into the upper 60s, some low 70s, 70 degrees will be high in Cincinnati. Now for tonight, not actually getting that cool, dropping down to the upper 40s for most of us. 49 in Cincinnati now heading throughout the next couple of days. Friday, though, we do have a chance of rain moving in high of 66. Saturday, though, we are looking much cooler, but looking ahead to next week, we're actually warming right back up with more chances of rain in your forecast. In the meantime, today and tomorrow are both looking fantastic.